We are asked to find all of the exact solutions to the following equation, sine of 5x equals 0, and use the parameter k as necessary to represent any integer. And then we are asked to list those solutions which are in the interval of 0 to 2 pi. So first, what I'm going to do is substitute 5x with theta. So let theta equal 5x, rewrite this as sine theta equals 0. Looking at our unit circle, we see that there are two angles whose sine is theta. 0 radians and pi radians. So theta equals 0 plus 2 pi k and theta equals pi plus 2 pi k. Now let's substitute 5x back in here. 5x equals 2 pi k and 5x equals pi plus 2 pi k. And to isolate x on both sides, we'll divide both sides of the equation by 5. So x equals 2 over 5 times pi k and x equals pi over 5 plus 2 over 5 pi k. So these are our two equations that we can use to write all of the infinitely many solutions there are out there to this equation. Now in the next part of the question we are asked to list those solutions which are in the interval 0 to 2 pi. So to do this I'm just going to start out by substituting whole numbers into the k constant values. So let's start with k equals 0. If k equals 0 we will have x equal to 0 pi or 0 over here. And if k equals 0 over here, we will have that as 0. And our answer is pi over 5. So if I substitute 1 for k, plug 1 into this equation, I get... 2 over 5 pi, and if I substitute 1 into this equation, I get 3 pi over 5. Next, if I substitute 2 into this equation, I get 4 pi over 5, and if I substitute k as 2 into this equation, I get 5 pi over 5 or pi simply. So I can keep going on and on like this forever substituting whole numbers in for the value k, but when, sh how do I know when to stop? Well they told us to only find those values within this range, so 2 pi, we have to stop at 2 pi. So 2 pi is 2 pi over 1, and if I multiply the top and bottom by Five to so they have the so it has the same denominator as all of the rest of the fractions that we were we are dealing with. I get ten pi over five. So I know that I have to stop when I get to ten pi over five or a value near ten pi over five, but I can't go past ten pi over five. So let's continue substituting values into k into these two equations. So if I substitute k equals 3 into this equation, I get 6 pi over 5. And k equals 3 into this equation, I get 7 pi over 5. k equals 4 
into this equation, I get 8 pi over 5. K equals 4. Into this equation, I get 9 pi over 5. So you can see I'm getting really close to 10 pi over 5. Let's just do one more to see. If I plug 5 into this equation, I get 10 pi over 5. So I know I can't go any farther than this. So the answer to when they asked us to list those solutions, which are in the interval 0 to 2 pi, we have to answer all of these values as a comma separated list. So I'll just write 0 pi over 5, 2 pi over 5, 3 pi over 5, 4 pi over 5, 5 pi over 5 or pi, 6 pi over 5, 7 pi over 5, 8 pi over 5, and 9 pi over 5. And these are all the values within this interval that work for this equation.